And we all uh, heard the, the city's response to that, which uh, Jeremy got today, or all the media team got today, which said that we would, uh, that his schedule is open for 11.30 tomorrow, on Friday, which means that we need to go ahead and elect some representatives to meet with him tomorrow at 11.30. I'm sorry, nominate and approve representatives for tomorrow at 11.30. Um, now again, the task force was uh, sent from the GA that was uh, the General Assembly as of last night of Occupy Richmond to sort of make these decisions in a small body. Um, sorry, uh, um, to sort of figure out because time was so important and so short how we can perhaps approach this uh, quickly evolving situation. Um, so, so what they suggested last night to keep the information concise and clear because they believed that perhaps the mayor might have a number of tricks under his sleeve or he wouldn't be requesting to meet with us, and I'm simply relaying the information, um, that it would be important to keep it to five to seven people to ensure that we can make our points and make them clear and make them concise and effective. Obviously, if the GA doesn't agree with that, it's the GA's job to change that. But these are some suggestions that were issued by the task force. They also suggested, again, that we go through a nomination process, be it someone else nominate you or a self-nomination process, and then come up and speak for a minute about what you might perhaps say to the mayor that would be in support of our case. Can I get a quick temp check on how we feel about that as a process of going about this? The, the, does anyone disapprove of that process? Does anyone? I got a question. Okay, I think they made a number of clarifying points. Um, I think it went sir, then Greg, then. Yeah. Can you state for us where we're in and our agenda, please? Sorry? Can you state where we are in our agenda? Sure. Um, so, because tonight is, is sort of a different sort of a GA circumstance, because we're directly addressing something that's going on tomorrow, um, this is an agenda point that I, I suppose we could call a nomination process for tomorrow. Um, and, and then we would move to informal proposals, and then proposals, and then general announcements, and then soapbox time. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we actually had a couple other ones. What? Wait, but it was noted that we have to be out of here at 9. Okay. Okay. So I saw one. Did he uh, mention how long the meeting will be? The question uh, was, did he mention how long the meeting would be? Um, oh. I, I believe the letter was read to the entirety of GA and... It, I, I did not personally hear, did anyone here mention how long the no. letter would be in that letter? No, okay. Right, Thank you. so. Cool. Right. Uh, yeah, I, I guess, for clarification, but also just a general suggestion, I think in six people we should divide it, three male-bodied, three female-bodied people, make them mandatory in our nominations, and also representation of, you know, class and race and ethnicity and whatever. Yeah. So it has been offered as a, also. So I suppose to perhaps streamline this process, what I just said would be a proposal from the task force, and we just heard our first friendly amendment to that proposal. Um, what he has proposed is that we, we set some restrictions to the nomination process and that we will agree to nominate three females and three males, and also keep in mind class, race, and all the other uh, various uh, demographic issues and statuses that would go into a meeting the mayor for the oh, first time. Oh, oh, oh. How do we feel about that? Uh, there's a point of information. I, uh, just to make clear, I think maybe that might be a little too exclusive. So we have people that do not gen uh, identify as either male or female. And I think limiting to three male, three female, that is a little insensitive. So is that a point of clarification? Is the choice to uh, create kind of a package diverse group for a, a political purpose, or is it for a cultural representation of our group? So the, the question was, was this to 
address uh, a political aff affiliation or a cultural affiliation? So that question would be directed back to the friendly amendment. What's that? Sorry. <laughs> is it a cultural alignment or is it a political alignment that you're looking for when you split the two groups into male and female? Well, I think because, I mean, in all honesty, the the larger demographic of Richmond, Virginia, specifically the city and the area, is African Americans and black people. people. Okay, and clearly this movement has got that. So I was just saying, three male-bodied, three female-bodied people, and then within those three, those two groups, representation of people of you know creed, class, race. Yeah, Wait, there's um two things we just say to be aware of that. Be aware of that. Yes. Someone requested yeah. so, a mic and, check. And, and we have... um, it has been requested that we have a mic check. Is everyone okay with going back to mic check? So mic check. Mic check. Mic check. We have, we have an hour and ten minutes left. An yeah. hour and ten minutes left. I would simply like to remind everyone of that. I would simply like to remind everyone of that. We have two more points of clarification. Yes. Two more points of clarification. And a point of information. And a point of information. And then we're going to go ahead and close off this pseudo stack. And then we're going to close off this pseudo stack. I was just wondering if people understood that Josh said male bodied and female bodied and not male and female. Um, I also want to convey that appearances might be important for the mayor. I also want to convey that appearances might be important for the mayor. Alyssa, do you have hand those? Do you have hand those? Mike Chat? I just would like to say that we should disqualify that we should disqualify anyone anyone who has already met who has already met with the mayor with the mayor to reinforce to reinforce the fact the fact that we are leaderless that we are leaderless. Okay. Well, I was going to suggest, I was going to suggest that dividing ourselves into artificial categories, even though they exist, and dividing ourselves into artificial categories, even though they exist, undermines the process, undermines the process of finding the individuals who best represent our collective voice. Of finding the individuals who best represent our collective voice. Amen. Don't we think that everyone represents the sorry? Don't we think that everyone represents the movement best? Represents the movement best. <laughs> Just get out the hat. My check. For the sake of progress. For the sake of progress. Does everyone agree? Does everyone agree that we will do our best? That we will do our best. As the collective General Assembly of Richmond, as the collective General Assembly of Richmond, to pick a diverse and representative, to pick a diverse and representative group of competent individuals, group of competent individuals, based on what they say, based on what they say, and how they've been involved, perhaps, and how they've been involved, perhaps, to go meet with the mayor tomorrow, to go meet with the mayor tomorrow. Yes. While embracing, while embracing all aspects of diversity and inclusivity. All aspects of diversity and inclusivity. Is anyone opposed to that? Is anyone opposed to that? Yeah. Only, only if it's more than three white males. <laughs> You're saying it's opposed if it's more than three white males. Mic check. Mic check. The GA, the GA, the GA would have to approve this group. Would have, have to approve this group as a whole. As a whole. When we get there. When we get there. So let's try to get there. So let's try to get there. Okay. So next step. So next step. Is anyone interested? Is anyone interested in nominating another individual? In nominating another individual to represent Occupy Richmond? To represent Occupy Richmond tomorrow at 11:30. Tomorrow at 11:30. I see. So the way that I've seen it was one, two, three, four, gosh, five, six, 
seven in the back. And then who have I not looked at? Okay, eight. And then I think you were already in there. And nine and ten. Okay, who remembers your number? Ten. What? You were. What Stat Keeper is doing is pointing at you with a number. Is pointing at you with a number. You will uh, say that name in that order. You will say that name in that order to help keep things flowing appropriately. To so help keep things flowing appropriately. appropriately. You can say in your seat. You can, you can say, say in your seat. seat. But if the nominee accepts his or her or their nomination, but if the nominee accepts his or her nomination, they can choose to come to the front. They can choose to come to the front to make their statement. To make their statement. Okay. You yeah. uh, I nominate uh, Teddy Karam, and uh, are we supposed to give a reason why? I nominate Teddy Karam. I nominate Teddy Karam. Teddy, do you accept this nomination? Okay. Are we moving on to the next nomination? Okay. Where was two? I was two. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, everybody. I've been going a lot. I know. Um, I've got to take off. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, well, no mic check. Can I nominate more than one person? <laughs> no, 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 no. Can I nominate more than one person? Yeah, okay. We're I would, kind of in the middle on that. Yeah. Like, I, I'm, I'm going to be real quick and then I'm going to bail. Um, <laughs> I... It seems as though we have a pretty split vote. Can I just say that it's going to take a lot longer to nominate them one at a time individually through this whole process than it is for me to say the four right now? <laughs> yeah, okay. Just, yeah, okay. I nominate you. I don't remember your name. I'm sorry. I nominate Claire. I nominate Jeremy and, there, and you. I nominate you. And the reason for this is because I think that Anybody needs to have legal, tactful, emotionally centered, and some social or business dealing with people that have power or money, or he's going to fluster us. And that's the reason. Who was the Dan? Oh, the fourth person, Josh. Yeah. Yeah. Claire, do you accept your nomination? Yes. Uh, Jeremy, do you accept your nomination wherever you're at? If you could please move to the stage. Um, Danielle, do you accept your nomination? If you could please move to the stage. If you guys would like to come up here or if you feel like we can just get it going. Uh, I'm going to, well, I appreciate the nomination. I'm going to not accept the nomination. Um, I am in the role of facilitator this evening, so it will be a uh, conflict of interest for you to accept that nomination tonight. And I also got a job that I start tomorrow at 11 a.m. <laughs> So, uh, so, 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 who was number uh, more, more donations? I think I was. Um, I'm pretty sure I was, unless I'm stepping on somebody's toes. Number three. All right. Uh, the person that the person that I'm nominating isn't here right now, so I don't. I can't really. You know what I mean? I'm I'm going to speak for him, kind of though. Uh, Morgan Zito. I feel like he's talked to them ever before. I don't. Uh, I don't know how people feel about that, whatever, I'm just putting it out there. And I don't know if he can do it either, so, you know, get, go through this whole thing, but just keep him in mind, because he's not here right now. Okay, and then there was, was it you in the turquoise hoodie, and then you, and then you, sir. Okay, and then you as well. Okay, okay. I would like to nominate, sir. I would like to nominate, sir. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Until the end of the nomination process. Oh. Okay, and then your nomination was right. uh, I was going to nominate Claire, but she already had it, so uh, I'll nominate Q. <laughs> okay, and then you, sir? Uh, I would like to nominate Q, who would be in the demographic of a recent and very valuable addition to this General Assembly. Woo. All right, and then you were next, and I think there were a couple of people over here as well. Uh, if I could step in real quick. Uh, Hugh has elected to step down as a stat keeper. Is there anyone who would be willing to step up? I'm oh, sorry, Tim Chat. 
so we have a new temp chat. Who did you do that? Are, are you going to use the temp chat? Who did I don't know. Is everyone okay with that switch? Wait, where's Sarah? Were you checking chip check? This is okay. We can also, Sarah has also. <laughs> what? You were going to, okay. We are going to, so we've got her, her and then. I'm last. She's just, I was going to see. Okay. So, number two. Oh, let's go. Let's do it. Woo! Woo! Yes. Woo. Second that. I don't need to go in second. Makes sense. Uh-huh. Okay. And then we've had two over here and then we'll view. Yeah, I did. What was yours? Uh, I was going to nominate Claire, Elizabeth, Luke, Sarah, 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 Sarah,
Okay, uh, clarifying point. Clarifying question. Yes. Do we have a use for everyone who is nominated who is not actually chosen for the official meeting? What? What? No. The, the question was, do we have a use for those who have nom who have been nominated who have not been chosen for the actual meeting? Do we stand in solidarity outside where all the press crews are going to be standing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Uh, I, I think right now what we are doing is we are going through the nomination process, and perhaps we can address these important questions after we get through that, as we only have 45 minutes left. So in the sake of the progress of, the, of, of, the, of what we're doing right now, could you hold your question until after the nomination process? We have 45 minutes, and I want to create a symbolic movement outside in support but we can all do that. We're chosen. We need it. No, we can't. There's, there's a point of this, can be, this can be done through direct action, not through the GA. Okay. All right. Thank you for your points. Though it is a very valid point, and thank you for bringing yes. that up. So I believe there is Elizabeth and then one more gentleman in the back that we're needing. Was it you? Sorry, people have been moving around. Um, so let's Elizabeth and then you, sir. I'm sorry I forget your name, but I would like to nominate you in the poop. Yes. Oh, I had to. Oh, you already Okay. Decided. And then you in the red shirt? Uh, I'd like to nominate Ira. The nominations for Ira? Okay. If, if. Do you accept? Yeah. I do accept. Okay. This is okay. going to be a last call for nominations. Yes. Uh -huh. Sell for Sir, otherwise. It ain't no secret. I nominate Mark Carter. Okay. Mark, Mark Carter. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Uh, I nominate Go. Go, do you accept your nomination? <laughs> so, my check. My, my check. check. My check. My check. My check. The nomination process is now closed. The nomination process is now closed. What we will do now. What